Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about Test Bank, Chapter 5, Numbers 78 through 80. Number 78, five dialysis bags, which is semi-permeable membrane. Uh, it's permeable to water, but it says it's imperme impermeable to sucrose. So five bags were filled with various concentrations of sucrose and then placed in a separate beakers containing an initial concentration of 0 0.6 molar sucrose solution. So we have all beakers are 0 0.6 molarity in sucrose. But then, so you're going to have, you're going to have uh, five of these. You're going to have five of these. Another one, another one, another one like that. And then in it, you're going to have dialysis bag, dialysis bag containing different uh, molarity. Okay, different concentration of sucrose. Um, and then at 10 minute intervals, the bags were massed or weighed, and the uh, percent change in mass of each bag was graphed, as you can see in the graph here. This figure illustrates the change in, ma in the mass of the bags over, the ti over time. Now, the problem is, which line in the graph represents the bag that contained 0 0.6 molar solution at the beginning of the experiment, meaning it's isotonic with the solution. Isotonic meaning which bag had the equal uh, molarity? Is it this one, this one, or this one, or this one? We don't know. Okay? If there were A, B, C, D, E. Now, if it's isotonic, the net movement of water is zero. So same amount of water coming out or going into the uh, dialysis. So over time, there won't be any mass change. So which one showed no mass, which one showed no mass change? Only C. So the answer to this problem is C. Now on to problem number 79. This problem, everything else is the same, but then which line in the graph represents the bag with the highest initial concentration of sucrose. So which bag had the most sucrose in it to start with? Well, which one gained more uh, mass? Obviously A did, because after 60 minutes, what happened, the mass change happened really, really, really fast. Okay? It's positive. Other ones, B is relatively slow, C is isotonic, D and E, it lost weight meaning water left from the bag into the uh, solution so which one had highest concentration bag a because let's say this is bag a in order to have more mass as time goes on a lot of water must have come in that's only possible when water potential of the solution is higher than water potential in the uh, inside the bag or you have more stuff, in this case sucrose, meaning more higher concentration of sucrose inside. So water must have uh, come in rapidly. So answer to this problem is A. Now on to the next one. This is number 80. It says which line or lines in the graph in the figure represent or represents bags that contain a solution that is hypertonic at 50 minutes. So hypertonic meaning you have more solution that is hypertonic a bags that contain solution that is hypertonic meaning inside you have more stuff or sucrose in it after 50 minutes you still have water coming in because the in the solution inside the bag is hypertonic hyper means you have a lot more than surroundings okay which one has it well look at a it seems like it's A, but then you see how after 50 minutes or a little after 40 minutes, it plateaued. It uh, net moving of water and coming out or going in, it's same. Okay, it didn't increase. However, look at B. It's after 40 minutes. It's it's still at constant rate. Water comes in. Okay, so it looks like it's A, but uh, after 40 minutes, A would be isotonic. 
Okay, so answer to this one is B because it's still gaining water.